afternoon everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Michelle and you're watching Real Life with Michelle. Today by special request from my granddaughter, I'm going to tell some more bus stories. She is like, gee ma, I want you to tell some more of those stories. So it's like, okay, I can do that. I can do that for you. So here we go. Bus aids. Do you, I don't know if you know what a bus aide's job is, but a bus aide is the only person that is allowed to stand up on a moving bus. They walk up and down the aisles, taking care of the clients, whatever their needs are. So they're, they're always coming from the front of the bus to the back, to the center, doing whatever they have to do. And it's not an easy job being a bus aide. It's not an easy job walking up and down the aisle. You have to have your sea legs. We'll call them the bus legs because you're going all over the place and you're trying to walk down the aisle and you're holding on and the bus turns and you're doing this, you know. So I had a bus aide. I loved this bus aide. She was the best. She was the nicest, sweetest bus aide. She... I always, I always knew where my bus aides were on the bus. That was something mentally I knew. In case something ever happened, I need to know where my bus aides are. So one day I'm driving down the road and I'm like, I'm just driving down the road. Now in our buses, they had, let's say, half of the seats like a normal bus and the rest of them were wheelchair straps. They were on the floor, big, big, big metal, four of them big metal pulley thing straps that you could strap wheelchairs down. So I'm driving down the road one day and I'm watching out my mirror because we have an overhead mirror so we could see everything that's going on behind us. Driving down the road and I see my bus aid and it's okay and I'm driving I look up and she's gone. I'm like where did she go? And I'm like are, where are you okay? Where Where are you? And I can hear from the back of the bus something, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh. Pull it over to the side, put the bus in neutral, pop the brake, get up out of my seat, walk in the back of the bus, and here my bus aide is laying flat on the ground, spread eagle like this, on top of these straps. Here, she fell on these straps. She tripped on one of these big hunky things, and she's just, she's just laying on them and <laughs> laughing so hard she couldn't get up and I'm like are you okay she goes yeah I'm okay I'm I don't know how she could have been okay because these things are big metal things so she was all right we got her up and she was okay and we carried so on. another day same bus aid driving down the road here I am driving down the road now I'm in a bus that has there's an emergency exit in the back and there's an emergency exit on the side of this bus, which means there's no seat there. There's no seat where, so you can get in and out. So on the side of the bus, there's like maybe five seats going back and there's a big empty spot where a seat normally is on a bus, but not in this bus because of that door and there's a couple seats behind it. So I'm driving down the road and I'm looking in my mirror, you know, watching behind me and everything that's going on. And all of a sudden I see, you know, my bus aide go, go to sit down and she kept going and she just kept going until I didn't see her head anymore again. Pulled over, put the bus in neutral, popped the brake, got up. Here she went to sit down in the seat that was no seat. She forgot that we were on that bus that day, and she went to sit down in that seat, and there was no seat there, and he, she's laying flat on the ground again, and I'm like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And she's like, oh yeah, I'm okay. And there's both of us busting up laughing, and the people around us are laughing, and, it, and she, just, she just sat where there was no seat. Another bus aid story. I was up north where we have an Amish that live up north and I'm driving and you know the weather it's cold it's rainy out it, the roads are slick and you know there's Amish buggies up and down the street well we were going down the road one day and all of a sudden this Amish buggy full of teenagers just flies past us I'm like what in the world and they've got their radios playing and everything and I'm like oh my gosh they're gonna they're gonna get it and what is going on They're they're just crazy they're just crazy driving this horse and this buggy so we go to the first stop and it was a wheelchair and we you know we were there for 10-15 minutes dropping this little girl off and get in the bus go down the road and around the corner and here comes this buggy 
buggy racing. It was racing. It was racing fast with this horse. And we're just going, oh my gosh. There was a bridge they had to go over. So we're just sitting there waiting for them to get by. And all of a sudden, they, they fly across this bridge. And when that horse hit the bridge, the horse's hooves slid out from underneath it, the whole thing, and it's the whole horse just flipped on its side. The buggy flipped over, everything flipped over. I've never seen an Amish buggy flip over before, but I did this time. And all of a sudden, my bus aide starts screaming, Call 911, we need to call 911. And I'm like, it's a horse. I don't, do we call 911 for a 911 for a horse? I don't know. And she's like freaking out and screaming, call 911, call 911. And all of a sudden, we see all these Amish men. I don't know where they came from. I don't know, because they were on a bridge. And I don't know how they got there. But immediately, almost as soon as that horse hit the bridge, all these Amish men just started running up to help the horse and get the buggy up and make sure everything was okay. So we carried on, went back to the garage and we did go back next, to, the next day we did go back to that house and asked how the people were doing that were in the buggy and if the horse was okay and they were all okay. But man, even horses can slide on bridges. So if you like my videos, give me a like, subscribe, come back for more stories. Who knows what I'll film next, bye.